And as I said, I'm going to look this week on uh, about uh, today's lesson is on third hand play on defense, um, when to play high, and also thinking about a bit about unblocking. And actually, I'm starting with this hand that was played sometime before lockdown. And this is the hand here. I hope you can see it in the right. And you can see that virtually everyone played this in three no Trump and nearly everyone made it. But in fact, the computer says that it should be defeated, making only two no Trump, but only one pair did. So I'm going to start by looking at this hand and seeing how it should have been defended. So uh, this is the hand here. And we'll look at it from East's point of view. And I've, I've just rotated it from how it was displayed on the other screen. And let's imagine that they've bid two no trump, three no trump. Your partner West leads the five of spades. Down comes dummy. And you've got to decide what to play. And I hope that all of you here will choose to play third hand high to play the king here. It's a mistake to play the jack. Third hand should play high. The only time you would play the jack is if the queen were in dummy. Um, but as it is, you play the king. And let's suppose that wins the trick. And my first question for you, which is the first poll I'm going to launch in a moment, is what should East play at trick two? And it's going to be a choice of a spade or another suit. And I'm going to launch that poll. And the question is, what should East play at trick two? Is it the jack of spades, the eight of spades, or another suit? Let me end the poll there, and I will share the results with you. And virtually everyone has gone for the jack of spades, 89%, with one person saying the eight of spades, one person saying the other suit. And uh, I'm very pleased to say that uh, nearly all of you are right there. Your partner has led the five of spades here. Presumably, that's their best suit, and presumably that's their fourth highest from their longer suit. It also means that they should have some honours in that suit, at least one honour. So the correct play here is for you to play the king, and when that wins a trick, lead back the jack. If I bring up the four hands, you can see why that's so important, because you've got two cards remaining, and you should nearly always play high from two remaining cards. If you make the mistake of playing the eight here, then the queen will get played and your partner will win with the ace. But when they play a third round of spades, you will embarrassingly win that trick with the jack and you will be stuck. But if you play the jack here, the queen loses to the ace and now your partner's spades are set up and they can take the first five tricks to defeat the contract. After that, whatever gets played, declare as going to win and you can see they've got top trumps but they will be down one if you find the right defense on that one but as I said when this was played um, only one pair managed to defeat uh, uh, three no trump do let me know if you have any comments or questions on that um, let's try another one and this time again it's gone two no trump three no trump and again, your partner leads the five of spades. A uh, low spade is played from dummy. And I've got the second pole for you, which actually has two parts to it. And the first part is what are you going to play um, at, for, at trick one? Are you going to play the ace, the jack, or the eight? And if that um, card you play wins a trick, what do you play back at trick two? So there's two parts of this one. 
which card you're going to play at trick one. And if that card you play wins a trick, what are you going to play back at trick two? Let's um, end the poll there. And I will share the results with you. And most of you for the first one said the jack, 76%. And then 65% said you should return the ace of if the jack wins the trick. So let's go back to that and have a look at it. Well, your partner has, again, led presumably their best suit. And that should indicate that they've got an honor in that suit, uh, probably the king. And in this case, because the queen is in dummy, most of you are right, yes. You should not play the ace here, but you should play the jack. You're keeping the ace so that the queen doesn't make a trick. And if you play the jack and it wins a trick, so that's correct, then you need to worry about unblocking. Because you only have two spades remaining, it's essential for you now to play the ace and then play your last spade over to your partner. If I bring up the four hands, you can see that at this point, I must play the um, ace of spades. In fact, if I click on the GIB button, it's saying that that's the only way to defeat the contract now, if you play the ace. If you play a low spade, your partner will win the king, can cross back to your ace, but then again, you'll have be stuck in the wrong hand. So um, a very important rule to remember, play high from two remaining cards. So play the ace now, and then your partner will take the king and again be able to uh, take the remaining tricks and defeat the contract again. Any questions on that? Do just interrupt me. Let's have a look at another one. This time, uh, South opened a diamond, West bid a spade, North bid two clubs. You passed, and South bid three, no trump. And your partner here leads the queen of spades. And when they lead that, that's obviously their best suit. They bid it. It presumably is a five card suit, at least, headed by the queen. And you think that's quite a good lead from your partner because you've got the king as well. But when they play the queen, it is very important for you to overtake, for you to unblock your king. If you don't unblock, um, you may end up being stuck winning trick two with the king and being uh, unable to get back to your partner. So if I bring up the four hands, you can see your partner has indeed led the top of a sequence, the queen of spades. And because you've only got two cards here, it's essential for you to unblock, for you to play your king here. Uh, beginners hate this, by the way, because it seems like it's wasting a trick, but it really isn't. And if they let you win that trick, you lead that suit back. And now your partner is going to be able to defeat the contract as long as they keep their spades. In fact, on this hand here, what declarer should probably do is cash their clubs before they play their diamond. So if they play four rounds of clubs, it's to put pressure here on West as to what to discard. And West can discard a diamond, but on another um, club, West has got to uh, think about keeping their, uh, their spades because they're established. So they will have to discard a heart. But if they've kept the right thing, they can get in with the ace of diamonds and then defeat the contract by taking the remaining spade tricks. So uh, again, Declarer will be uh, making just eight tricks there because you were able to uh, cash your spades. This hand is actually quite interesting from the point of view of Declarer because if they lead a spade and East doesn't play the king here, on this hand, you can sort of work out the West is likely to have started with a six, sorry, with a five card spade suit. There were three in dummy and three in your own hand. So that means that he started with two spades. And if 
they've made the normal lead of the queen, that means that East is left with the singleton king. And you can actually use this to your advantage as declarer by at this point playing the ace. And by doing that, you have blocked the suit. So now the, the king, East has got the king of spades. And now when you play diamonds, if West plays the jack, East embarrassingly has to play the king and cannot get back to his partner's hand. So now Declare will be able to make the contract because they won't be able to cash those, uh, those spade tricks. Um, or another way you could play this as Declarer is if they lead the queen and you let that one go, if they now lead another spade and the king is played, you should sort of work out, oh, East has probably played that king because it's their last card. They haven't defended very well here. And what should South play here? Well, the answer is to you defeat the contract. Sorry, you make the contract if you play low. Don't play your ace here because then that clears the, the blockage. If you play low here, East wins the king and has no more spades to return. So whatever he plays now, suppose he does play a diamond, even though West can get in, um, you've still got the spade, the ace of spades. So they won't be able to cash the spade tricks there. So there are situations like this, especially where the indication based on the bidding is that West started with five spades. You can work out that he started with only two probably. And if they make the mistake of not playing the king, you should try to use that to your advantage to uh, get that, make sure the suit gets blocked. I hope you're all following that. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, this was one that I sent out during the, uh, in the email at the weekend. And here, again, there are playing in three, no trump. Your partner leads a three of hearts. Down comes dummy and you win the first trick with the queen. And the final poll of the afternoon is what should you play at trick two? Which card should you now play? You've won the first trick with the queen of hearts. And the question is, what are you going to play at trick two? Okay, let me share the results with you. Oh, you all uh, no, 22 people haven't answered yet, but let me share the results. And two thirds of you here went for the King of Hearts um, with 19% going for six hearts and 14% going for another suit. And let's see what we think about this. Well, your partner has presumably again, led their best suit, and they should have um, an honor in that suit. Now, in fact, on this hand, you can tell that the honor they ought to have is the jack. So although it may seem, if, if you believe they have the jack, what you have to do here is make sure you don't block the heart suit. And you do that, although it seems like a waste, by playing back the king of hearts, so the suit doesn't block. If you make the mistake of playing a low heart, um, then although that knocks out the ace, you will have blocked the suit. And then later when you get in with your ace of diamonds, you won't be able to get back to your partner's hat. Um, and it's also a mistake to lead any other suit. Um, as the computer says, the only way to defeat this contract is by you playing your king here. So you must unblock with your king Okay, um, Declarer will um, now can't make their contract without playing diamonds. Let's suppose you let the first one go, but they carry on in diamonds. You will now get in with your ace, and now you can switch back to hearts, and now your partner's hearts are good. So they'll be able to take uh, two more hearts and once again defeat the contract. Declarer can only make eight tricks there 
Um, and you see your partner's got roughly what you expected, which is the jack of hearts. They've led their fourth highest, and you've got to make sure you don't block the suit. If, um, if on the same hand, they lead the three of hearts, if declare on this one plays the ace, again, you have to think about unblocking here for exactly the same reason. So you must play a high card here, otherwise you will block the suit. You'll be left with a king queen and you'll only make two heart tricks. So the normal heart to play here is actually the king. Um, that is actually what you would play if you had a singleton heart or if you had a doubleton heart or at, as in this case here, if you've got the king queen. Um, so it, it can mean that you've got the card below that when you deliberately play the king there. So having played that way, now when they play a diamond, again, if you might let the first one go, but when, they, when you get back in, now you can defeat the contract by playing, going back to hearts. And of course, with two, re two remaining cards, you play the queen first and then cross over to your partner who can, uh, again, take the remaining heart tricks. So, um, so well done, those of you who got those answers right. I guess about two thirds of you did in that case, but that was the main topic I was looking at today. Um, third hand play and thinking about unblocking in various situations.